Kia ora whanau, this is E.T. Big One from Places Unknown and I'm back with you for another how-to tutorial and for this how-to tutorial it's how to um, have a pretty much an external mesh network using a pocket router um, and a Fritzbox modem and it's also the pocket router, Wi-Fi extensor, normal router so I could do this all portably and um, why and the reasons why I'll do it anyway since we're on the floor let's get started first we're going to need a fritzy box modem uh, just a minute before we have this fritzy box modem uh, just yeah there we go so this is the fritz box modem finally um this is the 2.4 slash 5 gigahertz rife wi-fi router um, we're going to be connecting wirelessly uh, this time to um, the last time I did it with a USB that goes at the back here um, there you go there so there's the USB port there's the LAN ports one two three four uh, there's a WAN port um, there goes the DSL I found a hook that says a DSL connection and the phone port phone one two uh, and we also got a USB port on the side over here uh, just quick show there you go so anyhow the reason why I'll do this is number one this is a this can be used as a VoIP phone. So if you have a DIC device, you can um, register your DIC state phone with this and use this as a uh, web station. So portable landline, hmm, that could be something that's on the go that I could do with my provider. Um, but anyhow, that's for another day. Uh, second of all, uh, when I'm out and about um, and I'm at someone's house or Maybe I'm at, uh, we're at a certain place and um, I'm the only one that knows the Wi-Fi and all my guests want to hook and use the internet too, maybe in a hotel or something. And we can actually share, uh, share uh, instead of buying um, individual, um, what do you call it, codes for sometimes you might get an hour. So... Uh, everyone can share it within that hour on, on the same network by this this pocket router here connecting to the uh, hotel's Wi-Fi and then this connects externally to this so it's like two bridges um, and that's also a possibility Third of all I can only connect up to 10 devices on this gay a so this device I can connect up to 150 yeah so what do you say about that one I can have more people on Wi-Fi. So yeah, that's another reason. And also the final reason I can think of at this time is, oh, I already showed these, the LAN ports. Um, this pocket router doesn't have a LAN port port built in, but these do. So I can use LAN desktops or uh, equipment that requires LAN. So yeah, let's fire up and I'll show you. So we'll plug the power source in. <clears throat> so while that's booting up, um, this, so this pocket router is going to act like a middleman for this router and the destination router, which will be holding the internet connection, which is either could be in homes, because this knows up to 15 devices. We see I could do it directly to each Wi-Fi, but the only problem is, is you always have to enter the key. And you always have to manually change it. You see, with this solution, this little device here, I don't have to worry about changing it. I just enter it in, ask the owner to enter the password in on my iPad or Android device, and connect it. Then that will connect this. And since this is connected to this, what rather than directly to this, I don't have to worry about it. It's just a hassle. Um, so that sort of cuts that out too. Uh, so. Anyhow, let's get into it, the software side, and to show you. Um, at the moment, I am connected to Bladden's 2G, 3G, 4G Connect, which is the, um, that one is the, uh, the pocket router. Um, the, I know I'm connected to the Spark. That, the Spark router here is actually the source router that actually holds the internet right we're going to connect to the sick uh, to the first bridge which is the pocket router so connect oh uh, cancel that 
So it's connecting to the pocket router. And just to prove my point, uh, sorry that's inverted, it doesn't look like this, so don't worry about the clean fire note, it just makes it easier to see. Um, so you've got my, tab my tablet connected, and we also got the external router connected, which is this. So that's the external router is connected to the pocket router, and as you, if you can see up the top, of, I'll do it sideways. Uh, there's the spark network so that's the first router that this tablet was hooked up to now we're going to connect to the third bridge the third and final the third and final device which is rob oh uh, oh, oh yeah yeah that's still key um just waiting for it to find it there it is rob et's beam so this is a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band um, so it's a dual band we see the first network I connected to was only a single band so this will can utilize faster LAN, uh, WLAN speeds so we are connected to the um, router um, the, the external router and see I'm not connected to the pocket route anymore I'll stay at what I've seen um, and to prove that I am connected, I'm going to type in the web address, which is um, to the pocket router, which is one, no, oh, one, one, yeah, one, nine, two, dot, one, six, eight, dot, one, seven, oh, one, eight, eight, dot, there it is, Fritz box. And the reason why, um, the reason why also, um, oh, and the other thing you've got to realise too is uh, the network is hidden. Both networks are hidden. Um, so the uh, the pocket router's network is hidden, and so is the external router's network. <laughs> you know, they're both hidden. So let's log into it. Eh? And as you can see. Um, I'll just zoom in. We've got the oh, we've got the uh, so we've been connected ever since the sixth of the fifth, two thousand and eighteen, at uh, ten thirty, uh, twenty two hundred, and twenty nine hour, uh, twenty two twenty nine hours. Um, the provider is existing connection over wireless LAN. The IP address that uh, my pocket router assigned it is 192.168.2.5. Um, so DSL, that's disabled. Uh, LAN, there's no LAN connected at the moment, but that's big, but that could be an option. Uh, see, uh, wireless LAN, wireless LAN on radio 2.4 gigahertz N5. Rob ET's beam, both of them. Uh, we've got the deck, which is off at the moment. Uh, oh, also that's another thing too, I can plug USB devices as well into it. Um, as I said, there was no, there's no cause, but I can also have the option of turning this into a portable landline. Um, and also this has got an answering machine too. Um, at the moment it's just my access point, which is on the 2.4 gigahertz band. Um, that's connected into is my tablet which is Android uh, let's go down we've got telephone book which is 20 uh, 714 contacts in Blatton which is that's my, uh, my I've got my Google account synced up with um, with this device too so all my Google contacts come up one megabyte used out of 455 so 500 pretty much 512 if we round it up um, and, um, memory built in I can add um, external storage and make a um, a media server a DLNA server and uh, use uh, a portable hard drive as a DLNA server for uh, guest wireless so I can have a I can have a um, external hard drive or something as well or two because it's got two USB ports um, I'm gonna try something I haven't tried it before, but I might as well give it a go. While we, on, I'll, it's one thing I like to do. I like to try something while I'm on the video, and that's new. 
um, and that's what I'm going to be doing now which is I'm going to connect uh, back to the Bladens 2G, 3G, 4G because I know it won't work on the source uh, router and what I want to do is I want to log into the Fritz box I'm going to see if it can because if it can that means that my guess that I stick on this Wi-Fi network would be able to uh, cast as well so with the Chromecast being connected to the source but we'll see if it doesn't this will also prove that this has got a firewall as well and uh, and which is a good thing because if I was to connect this to directly to someone else's Wi-Fi they won't know who's all connected to this uh, repeater as such which is connected to a hidden so all these networks are hidden except for the spark one um, both of the both of the pocket router and the external router is hidden so it looks like we're not going to get a connection oh yeah where it's failed so that means that uh, that's good because I don't want any um, anyone utilizing my um, Chromecast if I want that for just my network because uh, you know if I wanted to have the Chromecast hooked up to this and everyone cast I would have done it but I've chosen to keep it on the pocket routers network and I'm happy because no one can't interrupt my movies while this is on and people are surfing um, and the final reason why I will do this too is because uh, being a Wi-Fi extender with the pocket router um, the, everyone can use my uh, uh, IP address that's on the local network so if I'm pretty much responsible for all the traffic that goes through this pocket router to the internet and if someone's got a watchdog or whatever and sees what websites I'm going on it'll come under me and only me so that's a bit of a tricky uh, that's a bit of a good one too as for um, tricking the admins of certain networks that can monitor like uh, Google Wi-Fi can uh, monitor those sort of things as well so it's just getting around those sort of things and just keeping myself safe uh, and keeping my guests safe and secret and also keeping myself secret because at the end of the day you won't be able to pinpoint who if you've got an external router or if it's just 10 devices hooked up to this pocket router um, which I've used most, most of the time I've only used this once and this was to fix a computer a Linux computer and I didn't have a uh, this doesn't have LAN on it uh, but this did so I connected it externally to the um, desktop I connected this to the desktop through LAN and I could do the downloading it because this Linux doesn't recognize this um, device when I plug it in through USB so that's another reason why I use it to, to when I fix yeah. so that's another how-to tutorial sorry it was a long one um, I, n I noticed that it's like 13 minutes and 30 seconds now and my washing machine's been going off in the background all this time so um, sorry for all the background noises and that and I hopefully you've learned something and I hopefully you got uh, something out of this and hopefully enjoyed it till the next time um, this was brought to you by Rustatech where we keep the hard vibrations I don't get paid for this, this is free I, I just like showing off what technology can do and how you can reconfigure things until then uh, this, was, this was ET beaming out now and you have a good night Whew.